Hello, everybody. Uh, oh, where's my Twitch? And thanks for the follow. Is that someone that you brought, Costas? Hello, I'm Costas. Gian Did I bring Mich anyone? No, maybe not. Gian Michelle. Oh, man. Saying names. Mariani? Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> I, I did I do I didn't bring anyone now. <laughs> maybe maybe it's from Facebook. I don't know. It just happened. Just before I went live with the camera. Um, right. So I uh, hope I don't know how stable my internet is today. So I apologize if there's any like weirdness. Um, yeah. Are you going to be animating? Ozzy! Well, Costas was back. Where have we been? You missed like a billion. You missed a billion uh, streams with it. a billion meaning one. <laughs> well, billion and one. They, well, he wasn't around on Thursday or Wednesday, I think. I really, I thought it was just one day. Uh, so I'm still continuing the same animation. I did do some over the weekend. Um. But still need to do the spaceman. I was mainly just drawing the what do you call it? Um, the rope thing over and over and over again. <clears throat> right, I I was here on Thursday. I wasn't on Friday because I had tons of work. Yeah, well, we weren't there here on Friday either because um, Costas was busy and I had this boring animation to do and I had some other stuff to do, so we decided not to stream on Friday. But we are here today. Um, sorry, let me just sort out some music. And hope I don't get in trouble. Oh yeah, you secretly asked Sarah. Yeah, I was in a, I was in a basement at the time, but I think this is really far away from... Uh... Yeah, I looked really, it up on the map. Uh, but the fun fact, Samos was the island that I lived for like a, a year when I was drafted for the army. So yeah, there's a lag of like a few years. Were there any casualties in the end? Yeah. Because yeah. uh, like when I first two, saw two kids, us. Uh, they were returning from school, like a wolf on them. Um, but uh, I think in Izmir, in Turkey, there were a few more because, like, there were like, there was like a little a tsunami or something, and mm. more things like I don't know, like the shock wave affected them more in some way. What? Apparently, I can't play music. In what way? I don't know. It's just not working in my music program thing. What are you using? <clears throat> uh, m music. What's it called? The Google. You're thing? using music. Gr group what music. kind of player? No, what kind of player are you using? Group. Oh, group music. That's what it's called. The hell? What's that? I don't know. It comes no from VLC or anything else? I don't know. Why would I use VLC for this? Um, no, it plays in the trees. Plays what? Yeah, in but B3. it's not really a program for like playing. It doesn't do it very well, or like it doesn't look nice, and it's um, I have to add stuff to it every time. I guess I just don't use it right. <clears throat> yeah, I only use that for music. But like for some reason, I won't add stuff to it. That's like super weird. The Wayne Silly is not that strong, but I don't know about other countries. I've been on 8.8. .8. What the hell? Where have you been on 8.8? .8? That's pretty strong, isn't it? Yeah, Marco Spaceman is uh, is having some invisible dinosaurs uh, on him, like little dinosaurs that he's trying to get off him, <laughs> uh, which I haven't drawn yet. That's why they're not there. He also has an invisible Amazon for a couple of frames on her on him. Super loud therapist music.
We'll leave that for now. Yay, there was music. Yay, yay. Wait, let me take a listening peek to what you're listening It's just the demo music. Oh, the... okay. Well, I've put all the songs in the playlist, so I don't know how long it's going to last for. Or if it's going to... wait, should I shuffle it? Wow, 8.8. .8. I think even like... In, uh, we had like a huge earthquake in uh, Athens, 1997. I remember how big it was, maybe seven point something, but 8.8, .8, no, we never had that one. Sounds like it would have opened the earth apart. Mm -hmm. And after that, I saw through the windows and there was dust and lightning from the transformers all over the place, like the ending of Fight Club. I am really confused. You started talking about an earthquake and then we went to like two movies. <laughs> What's dust and lightning from the Transformers? Well, it's a... <laughs> I know the end of Fight Club, but uh, I doubt it was like that dramatic. Where is your mind? Ha, get it? Because that's the song that plays at the end of the Fight Club. I cannot even remember that. Do you remember the end of Fight Club? Where it's like, no, I don't uh, remember buildings. Fight Club that well. Okay. Because you said I don't remember that, but you meant the whole movie now. <laughs> Here, munching on seaweed, by the way, if everyone wanted to, anyone wanted to know. You and your weed of the sea. What do I need to do other than work? Um, yay, there's some cold coffee for Ozzy there, so that he gets educated on how cool it is. Over here, I have like 5k. Um, what is it? Beep boops. I don't know what to do with them. Mm, do you have any bright ideas of things you can do? Yeah, we'll, we we need the uh, we need the thingy that says that reminds me to work at some point. You still that is why it doesn't work. It's your fault. We're not doing that for me. I look at what's going on between these two frames. Uh, what two frames? Which which two? Oh wait, I'm not looking live. Oh. One, Should two. I look at the stream eventually? No, 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 don't worry. I think it's just because. Oh no, it's okay. I got it now. I think I've got it. Oh yeah, no, it's literally just moves a frame, but. Oh, let me have some music in my ears. My mom was in the biggest quake in recorded history. 9.5 and it lasted for 10 minutes. This sounds like a complete lie. What earthquake lasts for 10 minutes? 9.5. That would destroy the earth. Like, how the hell did this exist? I don't know anything about earthquakes. Well, my dad was in an earthquake of 12 <laughs> and it's been for three hours. Where is that? 12 is, 12 is by the way, uh, the top, uh, like on the scale of earthquakes, earthquake scale thing. Well, 1960. Well, that sounds like that made up country that Dr. Doom is from. <laughs> oh, it exists, okay. <laughs> Municipality in Chile, how, how would I know that? <laughs> made up country that Doctor Doom is from. Yeah, do you know what is it called? Like, mo, mo, uh, I don't uh, know. Wait, Doctor Doom <laughs> country. Um, Latveria is called. <laughs> um, well, Vivia earthquake. Wow, it is actually the most powerful trembler in recorded history. So it was 9.6. I didn't see anything about 10 minutes yet. 9.5. Oh, these songs don't really go very well from one to the next. 
Well, that, that's why. You yeah, have to sleep until loop. I get bored. Yeah, but I can't. Yeah, but you won't get bored because it's always in the background. So, Don't like at some that. point, like maybe after twenty minutes, you're gonna be like bored. But uh, at least for me and the spacemen team, I don't get bored at all. Like listening to it all the time. You don't. No. Okay, let's like go on that one then. Yeah, it's very chilled. This is one that is not in anything yet, is it? No. So guys, um, you should be feel your ears should feel very privileged right now. You're listening to an unreleased track. We haven't released any of them technically, but it's an unreleased track <laughs> of the game. We released some on the YouTubes. Yeah, like one, but Okay. On YouTube's. Prepare your ear tubes. What? I don't remember the this YouTube's. song. Yeah, you probably heard it once. Like I it was. Fight Club. Is... Yeah. Oh. No, what? no, no. <laughs> no. I'm saying I don't remember oh. anything. I'm like, I don't remember Fight Club. I don't even remember the own song, the song from my own game. I think I did hear it just once. It wasn't used anywhere, but yeah, you probably heard it once or twice. But I'm the one who added it. I've had it with this one. So it's fine, it looks fine to me. Hmm. He's still doing the um finishing up the event the what am I trying to say? Action stuff. Yeah, I would say I guess I'm done, kind of. Well, I need the tiny dinos actually. My idea was like I should try and um uh, let's have after effects here. Let's take a dino, like one of these. Let's take, uh, let's make a new composition. Uh, run dino diagonal. And let's try and see if we can recreate, um, if we can take a pixel walk, run, whatever the fuck I'm trying to say, and rotate it and look what it looks like. It's gonna look awful, probably, but. I need to know right there. Always look bad. Yeah, it's 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 um, not exactly relating pixels for me though, because because uh, I'm using it's pixel perfect here because the correct analysis. So whatever I rotate, it's going to be pixel perfect. Uh, I, I, what are you talking about? I thought you were so going to rotate if I, if I rotate dinosaurs. something, yeah, but if I rotate something, it's still going to be pixel perfect. It's not going to be like rotating pixels. I rotate Makes pixels sense. in Pixel Perfect and it looks awful. Oh, yeah, I get what you mean. Thing. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. Pixel, no, I'm still saying like in um. Yeah. Okay, the, I get so it. if I like take something and I want to like do it at a different angle, if I rotated it myself, it looks it looks bad. Oh, <gasps> it lost think, his hat. That's because I think it was uh, I think it, because it was a Halloween uh, hat, and they had it only for Halloween. But well, Sarah, <laughs> I don't think it looks. I think you're overreacting because it doesn't look that awful. Look at my screen. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, mean, I can't see it. All I can see is your flash. <laughs> no, really? No. That's why I was confused of what you were talking about. Do I need to change it? Because I didn't change anything on OBS. Wait, what the? Where, no, to... that's my fault. Why the hell was I? Okay, so it's doing the same thing as before, where Costas just isn't working and he's slacking off and pretending he is. No, it's it's the same thing as before. Um. It's remembering it from last time. My bad. Oh no, it's not. Okay, now it was actually doing it correctly. Okay. I did. Uh, I mean. Uh, but yeah, look at this amazing. It's not awful, uh, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> I know it's pretty bad, so I wanted you to look. Where is his eyeball moving? Um, I'll have to do a beep boop with a hat. Um, oh, I can hide you. Uh, why would it have a hat? As an emo, why not? Oh, I should do a bit bit with some cool shades, some sunglasses. Okay, Sarah, so should I just like do a diagonal animation of a dino? Because he, he's gonna look, it's gonna look smaller too, so maybe you need to redo it. Is that fine? It is, right? Is what fine? To, oh. to do some diagonal animations of the dinosaurs. Me. The little ones. Well, no, I am gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do them and then you're gonna do them. Yes, yeah, 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 I think it's necessary, because that doesn't... They're also great. smaller size, so I think you have to, yeah. Oh, great. Like, slightly smaller because of the action sequence. Okay. Well, it is a nice hat, Ozzy, but uh, talk to... 
twits for do for removing it because it was a witch's hat. Was it? Apparently the, yeah, it was. It was like, it uh, like a purple cap. It it was a witch's purple cap, yeah. There was also like a pumpkin one. So can you not do anything to it now? Oh, with uh, the, the, uh, I think if you nice. could, as you would have, unlock a random emote. Let me click on that. Well, there's only one emote. It's, it's Beep Boop. Ooh, look, I have one. It's Beep Boop animated. No, it's not animated. No, oh, wait. What? Oh, no. She was animated when I was trying it. Wait. Boy, they not put an animation of him in there. You can now use for 24 hours for the emote picker. Well, thank you, but I could use it before too. Oh, it's jumping up and down as if, like, I thought it was an animation, but apparently it's like, look what you're going to get. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I need to put more. Um... I got so happy when he was jumping up and down. Emotes on there. <laughs> yeah, you can't, I don't think you can have animated emotes on Twitch. Yeah, the technology can take it from Amazon. Too advanced. It's cost a sniffing Which... blue. Uh, hmm? I will answer a to Ossie with half the time no one knows what he's talking about. <laughs> so, um, there's going to be a lockdown here apparently on Thursday. In case you didn't oh know. yeah, I was reading something about... Uh, you were saying that you might have a, no a UK only lockdown, but now it's happening I guess? Yeah, it, it is happening. But I mean, it doesn't make any difference to me. No, it doesn't. But what, so, what's going on? Uh, it's the same as last time, except that schools are still open. If you can't work from home, then I think you can work in the office. Um, what else? Uh, you can actually go outside to exercise now. Okay. Which you could. Oh, you mean you want... couldn't before? Well, you could, but it was like you couldn't travel to go somewhere, and you. It was only allowed once a day, but now I think you can do whatever, as long as it's outside. Um, yeah. We have this during bars, our lockdown, too. Like bars, you have to like... bars, restaurants, cafes, and like stuff like that are all closed, except ones that do takeaway will still be able to do takeaway. Yeah, exactly uh, like us. Yeah. yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And still, like, if you yeah. live alone... That's pretty good. You can still have someone come visit you in, in like, your support bubble. Support bubble? Something bubble. Oh, you mean as in like old people and stuff? No. Some people live by themselves and. Oh, that's what you mean. Oh, for. Okay. Yeah, you can like bubble with another household, so then you sort of are technically bubble. like living together. So I think, yeah. Crazy, crazy war, Jacob. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, by says... the way, talking about Pandemia, uh, have you seen the Songbird trailer? No. Still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I haven't heard of it. Consistency, at least. It's not surprising. I consistently, <laughs> have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, I could Google it right now, but you know, I can't. I could, but I don't want another reason to like not work. I have plenty. At least we got Ozzy today. Oh, see, you missed a lot of people. Last time we had, like, a, an active chat, actually. I don't know if you're, like, driving everyone away when you're gone. They're like, he's gone, let's go. Yeah, I thought it was going to be really quiet because you weren't here. But it turned out to be fine. <clears throat> a nice compliment, Sarah. What kind of compliment is that? We thought we was going to have a problem with Ozzy gone, but it was fine. <laughs> it's an upcoming movie about an even more dangerous strain of COVID than it was WOW. As in the trailer was WOW. <laughs> really? Is that what people want to see right now? Let me make... Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm interested, at least. A super COVID? Sure. Songbird, the official trailer coming soon. And it looks like a singing thing. Songbird trailer reaction, five insane things. 
Michael Bay pandemic movie trailer criticized as exploitation cinema. That looks like it. Okay, it's produced by Michael Bay. Portrays a love story during America's. So it is made up. Okay. It's made up. Well, as in, like, it's not a documentary, is it? Oh. <laughs> so it is hey, a love movie. That's Nathan. always yeah, weird shit. Songbo looks pretty tasteless, but I'll probably watch it. <laughs> yeah, it did look pretty tasteless from the one picture that I saw. I was like, what is this? Uh... Oh, was it a good trailer? By the way, Nathan, that was an amazing poster you had for the Yeah, for the game. it looked great. You know, like, you did it, right? Because that's what I got. Because uh, last time we were talking about having a, having the same markers as the pre previous banner. But, like, I knew you could draw well, but, you know, I'm not saying this is a... Oh, did a, Nathan not, do that? Yeah, he did. That's, like, he, that's like... I thought he had the same quality. Well, if, if you didn't do it, correct me. But from what you said on Twitter, I, I was under the impression you did it. It's like I'm jealous of this poster. That's pretty good. I'm jealous as a filmmaker, first of all, but it's really good for like steam and uh, catching the eye of people. Should I like? Oh, in the fourth year of the lockdown. Okay, I see. Okay, so that's an interesting concept. COVID-23, what the fuck? Seriously, is that like, you didn't make this up? That's the concept? Everyone is locked down, and then there's another strain of the virus. If I would do like um, a COVID sci-fi movie, and by sci-fi I mean in the next three years, predicting what would happen, it would probably be when the vaccine came out and having something about that. Yeah, see, Sarah, he did it himself. That was really good, man. No. That, that's like... What the heck? That's amazing. That's really legit, but it's like super pro. I'm impressed. Like, and I saw you had like, uh, you said that you had the uh, two or three folks helping you. Like one of them is Ben, uh, who did all the, I don't remember his surname, but he did all the What's Die games. It's amazing. Mm. Um, yeah. How, what kind of advice they give you, by the way? Cause I was, uh, I was curious. It was, uh, Carolina from the dinosaur game. And some other dude. <laughs> the artist didn't reply for a week or so, so I told him not to worry. Oh, wow. Why do you even need this artist? Like, you probably did a way better job than them. <laughs> but they would. Uh... I'm just copy pasting <clears throat> the spaceman, but I realized I probably shouldn't because he's meant to be getting smaller. He's not. He doesn't? His head isn't getting smaller. I specifically made his head a little bit smaller so that it would look like fine all the way through. But I haven't made his head smaller. I think it's fine. Okay. The way I made it, I didn't make it any... I didn't okay. make it like size down as it was moving. By the way, just for... Uh reference like for clarity i'm gonna post nathan's uh tweet so you can see his uh, amazing art of the game good idea yeah what kind of feedback was it like oh smoke behind okay because like i'm i'm really curious because i was planning on making a poster like a horror poster myself like uh and yours is pretty minimal with every really like for um for like a short movie of mine I, I bet Ben suggested to have the blue rim light because he loves having rim light everywhere. Or was it like you seeing Ben doing it? Try and break the symmetry. Have both hands in the same pose. Oh, I see. So, so okay, I see, I see. Yeah, that's actually... Yeah, didn't notice that, but that should be adding up. I like how it uh, blends into the darkness too, like the bottom of it. OK. 
curious about this shitty Michael Bay film now. From the producer of The Purge in a Quiet Place, okay. I think shit is now. Yeah, rim light it works great, especially with like, uh, like I guess no background because it stands out a lot. It also looks like your uh, your title uh, because it has the same color, like it's illuminating it. Yeah, but it's pretty great, pretty like mysterious and minimal. Did you have um, did you have like uh, a lot of references or a Pinterest board or something that you were uh, using? Or with this kind of minimal style, like what well, the poster you liked or something. Kind of sucks for your artist because that's uh, supposedly the best time ever with a lockdown to like have collaborations with people who are usually busy because everyone's staying at home. I would assume. At least that's how I did it when it was a lockdown. All my friends would like were around to like help with projects. Yeah, coming tomorrow we have like uh, not a lockdown, but like a soft lockdown where uh, all the everything is closed from like bars, cafes, gyms, uh, stuff like that. Uh, only takeaway. Uh, you can't move around after midnight, which I guess it's fine. I think that's it. Masks everywhere outside, obviously. Yeah, I might have to cheat a lot if I'm making my poster because I'm not good at like realistic stuff or photorealistic stuff. So I might have to use a lot of silhouettes and stuff. Silhouettes with rim lights, that's it, done. Photos of some eyeball. Something like, that shouldn't take me too long, it looks cool. <laughs> it's like my secret to success, never learn how to like properly uh, design stuff, just like use shortcuts. So I need a few dinos here. Um, But like, I have to do some variations for the dinos running behind them. So they don't, not just offset them? I mean, it could be some running and it could be like one or two jumping maybe. That's what I mean. Right? So they all like right, run, right, right. but like one. Yeah. But And then I'm probably going to take these and like uh, put them in After Effects. And then I'm gonna like move them all around because I haven't changed their color, so I'll do that anyway. We have to test. Ah, it should work though. It should be a problem. I still haven't done the exports from the After Effects stuff with the dinos. I need to get to it. Yeah, for some. Well, you don't need to do yeah. anything. It's just like to be in the game. Yeah, I was gonna say like it could be cool to have it to. Have it to work on some more. I mean, I guess it might be called for a change for me to work on that, not this like hundreds of frame long animation. If you want, it just looks super cool though. Like watching you progress with it, it has <laughs> color and stuff now, and it feels like good. It's also nice because like those uh, ripples around them, even if there's no water, it makes you feel like they're in water. What's really cool. Mm. I have it's not the animated the, the ripple yet, by the way. <laughs> just copy pasted him. Oh no, if you don't animate it on one, it's going to cause a ripple effect on the rest. Oh jeez. Yep, that's the first one today. Welcome to the stream that Sarah is animating. Hey. <laughs> oh 
I can't tell what's actually going on. Um, yeah, because I have a plan going. You what? Yeah, he just is. You pretty much have done it. It's like he's standing still and then the... Oh, he's right at the end, isn't it? Yeah, he's standing oh, still like he's trying to grab her and then it's just like going up and down the same loop kind of like the Amazon. Oh, no. Wait, what? I'm on the wrong thing. That's why it's confusing me. But this is all the same. It's <laughs> one more frame. This. I am curious when we actually update the Kickstarter about us streaming if anyone's gonna show up. <laughs> Idea. Idea. Do you think we should put out the update when we're starting the stream? Because uh, then people are gonna click on it immediately and then look at the stream. If you want. I don't know how, how many people see it straight away, but um yeah. It would make more sense, right? Because sure. if we if we do it around this time, which is kind of fine, uh, mm. then yeah, then we can get some. Uh, we can probably get some viewers to see like what this what's this all about right away, mm -hmm. instead of like waiting for it the next day and forgetting about it. Yeah, sure. Double whammy. Assuming that's a double pun I was making. So, so I should do something. Let's take um, one of these dinos. I think I really need to do mods other than rotate it and give it, make it smaller and give it to you. But let's see. Actually. Chapter two, Dino attack. Yeah, it would work. So one of them is this. Far there. Was... Yeah, I started playing Diablo 2, and I'm really enjoying it. So much fun. <laughs> playing a paladin. You're playing alone? Yes, but that's how I was playing when I was younger, so it like, feels really cool. Mm. It runs like on any computer right now, because it's like, you know, old. And um, I am looking at like a guide of like a build for him so i'm trying to like play it oh okay it it, it really doesn't work right now because i'm like have one level in every skill or something it's really shitty um yeah, it quite but yeah I, i'm surprised how much i remember everything it yeah is. it's actually surprisingly fresh like even if you play it now it it, it just like feels like really good like just finding you know magic items and equipping them and yeah. What I loved always about Diablo is like seeing the equipment that you pick on your character. Yeah. That always was amazing for me. Like, ooh, my cool helmet, look, he, he has it on him. It's actually like <laughs> this. Yeah, I don't like it in some games where you can't actually see it, the items. Yeah, yeah, me either. I do remember now that this music has some inspiration on the music of the Out of This World video game. Yeah, wasn't it you that you were saying that on... Uh... To Zach last time? I think it was. Wait, who was saying what? I think Ozzy was uh, telling Zach that he reminded him of... Uh, Process. Another, I think you mentioned another world, not out of this world. Look on stream. Uh, why are you just there? Look on stream in a bit. 
We'll just wait. I'm looking. It says it's here. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, hey, Diablo 2. Oh, wow. The box set? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's a really it's, cool uh... box set. It, like, opens up and there's, like, a... Oh, wow. And it's also, like, um... And and what uh, and not and what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Well, it has 3D texture on it. Whatever. And there's like a box inside. Oh wow! Yeah, that's Lutgolain that you didn't remember the name of. <laughs> that's the city. Yeah. Man, it's such a cool game. I was trying to run it again now. On my new computer, new Windows, and all that, it was giving me some shit. So it's rather yeah. Windows at the moment. But it's really fun to play, like a single player. And like in a day or two, I was like really progressing. So it's not that. Uh... So I'm gonna take you more than a week to probably like complete it or get to the apple. You can't really see that. Where does it say? It says compete free over the internet. Uh, old game manuals are so cool. Even though it's in black and white. Yeah, you got yours are like I don't know if they're like huge or you're tiny, but they look really big. What? They look like half your size. Those uh, boxes and bo <laughs> and books that you have from Diablo. There's cool art in here as well. Anyways, let me put that away. Yeah, it's iconic, the the cover. Oh, what else do I have in my box of tricks? I've got Warcraft 3. Yeah, Sarah is like a Blizzard fanatic, or was. <laughs> That's Ooh. It. <laughs> oh, wow. That's very old school. Yeah, the third one, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, those are the only two boxes yet. I've got. Well, they're technically my brother's as well, but I kind of claim them. Yeah, them. Let's, let's hope he's not watching the stream now. <laughs> yeah. But StarCraft, we didn't have a box of. I have a feeling that was you, ripped. Did you ever play StarCraft? Yeah, of course. But a, a, a friend of ours from the Netherlands came to, to visit. Is she from the Netherlands? Yeah, I think so. She Stop came to visit. Really she was like a family friend's daughter or something like that. And she came to visit yeah. and brought us a ripped version of StarCraft. <laughs> as in like with a lot of muscles on it? No, as in like copy to CD. Yeah. Yeah, I think we, like in Greece, we only almost had ripped stuff unless you wanted to play online. So we had to get them. Well, surprisingly, Super those two... We bought in Namibia somehow. We actually sold them there. We, I mean, my friends and I had a lot, um, had like original version of Warcraft because we were playing the Dota game online. So we, we, we needed to have like an original account. Hmm. I would have bought StarCraft if I could, but I have a feeling maybe we couldn't. I don't know. Or maybe we didn't bother because she <clears throat> gave it to us. All right, what was I doing here? I was trying to fix the arm. Maybe that has fixed it? I don't think so. What was your favorite character in Diablo? <clears throat> I don't remember what all of the characters. There was the, Am was the Amazon in this one? Yes. Yeah, I so really the like Amazon, the Amazon. Necromancer, Paladin, Sorceress, Barbarian, Sorceress. Just mentioning everyone now, or? Sorry? You're just mentioning everyone, or just saying which ones you played? I was reading them out from the box. All right. Did you never play the expansion? Yeah, I've got the expansion, but that wasn't the box. I have a DVD, the CD of it over there. Who was in no. the expansion? It was the um, assass Druid assassin. And assassin. Yeah. Jared. I really like the assassin and yeah, the I Amazon really and the sorceress because obviously I I don't know I just enjoy playing female characters and the yeah. Some familiarity with them. I, actually, wow. I think it was the Amazon and then the assassin that I liked the most. I don't think I was that keen on the sorceress. And look at you now. You still have the Amazon on your screen. Ha 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 ha. 
I love the assassin because you can do a trick where you put snares on the ground and you can put like a billion and mm -hmm. uh, you get the boss to go over and they lose a huge chunk of their. Was the assassin the one with the clo claws? She had claw like. Yeah, the Qatar oh. apparently it's called. Yeah. I was learning English from the weapons and like and spells in Diablo. It's true. <laughs> I was like, Qatar, what's this? Like, you don't even use this word now, but I knew what it was. Lol, the only time that I went to an English-speaking country, US, I brought a Terran Marine figure from StarCraft. Oh, Ooh. nice. It was like a classic American souvenir. A Terran <laughs> Marine. Okay, I have not even been aware of this that this track's been repeating constantly. I see what you mean. Yeah, see, it's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. You can kind of tell the sharp should... uh, change of it. That's, I think, the only time when you actually oh, really? realize it. I haven't even noticed. I should make like an hour-long version so that it can swap to a different sound <laughs> without me, you know, badly changing. I think this and the and maybe the behind her track is good and uh, the one i really like but maybe gets a little bit too much is the jungle exploration one it's really happy and <laughs> yeah why don't i have any music in my ears i mean for some someone played rain world I'm so sorry, I was about to ask again what's Rain World. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it has an amazing soundtrack too. I didn't ask, I remembered. I should play I should it. Play that too. Instead of like a list of games that I want to play that I haven't played, I have a list of games that I kind of played and I want to keep playing, like Rain World. And Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, I started playing Darkest Dungeon again and then I kind of stopped. Oh, now? N no, like, weeks oh, ago? Okay. Maybe? Before I told you or after? Uh, after. No, but, okay, no before, so before, before, before. Ago. Sorry, before, before. Okay. That's why it was weird that you mentioned it. It's, uh, yeah, it's nice. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, but I discovered that if you tell me if I have to choose which one to play, like in the evening, what I'm gonna go with Diablo because it's just like, yeah, because it's, I'm gonna go with Diablo because it's like easier. It's easier to just like click on things and get like, oh, I got a new weapon. Mm. And Darkest Dungeon like requires a lot of thoughts. Oh uh, yeah, the set items were so much fun in um, in Diablo. Diablo. Yeah, it's so much fun. Yeah, the other one is like a really cool game in a different way, but it always like makes you like really worried about your party and like really on the edge of your seat if you're gonna make it. So I'm makes always like it's more stressful. Point. Yeah. Yeah, but in a good way because I do want to get stressed and I want to experience that uh, that kind of like feeling. So it's like I guess a different game to be in a different mindset. But you know, Diablo is always like mindless. Ha ha ha! The dinos are fun because I, I I drew an outline around them. That's too bad, they're funny. <laughs> Yeah, okay, they look ridiculous on him, though. Oh, Stick what have sky. I just done? this guy, you know, so many approaches. Uh... Did I just do something weird? Maybe not. Yeah, I did. How did I do that? <laughs> the heck? Oh, I took a screenshot and stuck it there by mistake? I don't even know if I could do that. Why is Mark the spaceman beating the hell out of those dinos? Has he got anger Well, issues? because they're biting him, so... Self-defense. Wow. They 
he's sliding down like Tarzan. Uh, yeah, I was, didn't see that. That was last time. This is a, an action sequence example, like an animatic. Um, there's a sequence where like you have the Amazon on top of your shoulders as a spaceman and you're sliding down vines like a Tarzan or like big trees because a horde of little dinosaurs are uh, chasing you to eat you and bite you. And occasionally they attack you like this and you have to like quickly press the space bar or whatever to get them off you. Which I hope people like, but I'm pretty sure no one likes these kind of things, but let's see. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can tell from the conversations we're having that you've been bitten by something recently. Uh, most of the time, so yeah. <laughs> I've been bitten by mosquitoes for sure most of the time. I'm so happy today. I got my, I got thirty, I got a, two packs of uh, mosquito tablets, which you put into mm. like this little device and stinks for mosquitoes. Which means I'm finally gonna get to sleep because they wake me up in the middle of the night and they're super annoying. Yep. So now they can die and fuck off. So what was the other one that you liked? Jungle Exploration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's more upbeat. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you're gonna get sick of it after a while, but. Over there for a bit. But I think behind her, the other one with the Triceratops, that's the old one. It's a nice one, the Space One one, huh? Like it really grew on me when I was listening to it. Mm. It's weird that after. You... I don't know, only recently I just started noticing the song uh, changing. The, the loop looping. So I decided to change it. Uh, do you use those Carson Tiny tablets or those incense like spirals? I guess the Carton ones, right? Casters? Yeah, the tiny ones. Uh, I know what he's talking about. There's some, they, they call them a snake or something here, the the spiral one. Yeah, and the spiral one is just like, yeah, it's very smoky. I think you use the spiral one for like outdoors when you're like sitting outside. Yeah, I use the carton tiny ones, but uh, I run out of them. Uh, and then I immediately like there were a billion mosquitoes. So that's when I, I realized that they were actually working. They like kill them, but they, they make them way dizzier. And then they don't really come that close to you. Or they're like way slower and easier to kill. But it's like fucking November and we still have mosquitoes here. They should decide to die at some point or go away. Should have a mosquito meeting and like decide to go. Yeah, that 5th of November thing is not for me. That's for the British people, though. They always need to be reminded when it's the 5th of November, because it's currently a very forgetful date of the year. Didn't you 
say that the other day, Sarah, you had like some fireworks close to your house? Mm hmm. That's probably preparations for the 5th of November, I guess. No way. <laughs> Uh, I don't think anyone would prepare for that. I don't know what that was for. But don't they always like do fireworks? I don't know. On the fifth. I, I don't know. I've, know. Only, you I've, only, England, I've only I've only ever lived in London where they do fireworks like every day of the year. Yeah, but I lived in like uh, in England at our university, so and they I, were doing that there. When I meant England, I meant did I say England or London? I meant London. Like in London, they set fireworks off every single day for any reason. Oh, okay. It's got no meaning to it. Maybe... I don't every remember other it. Date? I don't remember other than the November's I just remember Bonfire Night. They... Yeah, didn't they have like some event which was like at the... Oh, it was a bonfire. There were fireworks there too. I don't know. I think I went there once. I don't know. I went there I once, but yeah. It. I don't think I've seen a bonfire though. If you went, you should have seen it. They did like a massive bonfire, I think. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Maybe I didn't see it. Well, I mean, I, I did. feel like I went once and I barely remember it, so maybe I never went. I don't know. Did they actually burn something in it? Or? Yeah, wood. Yeah, it's wood, but do they like have a representation of the guy that got burned? I don't Fox, know. whatever. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, really? Well, isn't it like about him trying to blow up the parliament and it didn't work? Mm -hmm. And then those anonymous people arrived with the masks. Is that? <laughs> no, but it's like in the film, he's wearing this mask and it's like based on that, but whatever. I'm sure, chat knows what I'm talking about. And Aussie. Problem is, I've got, I've got more than one. Uh, you know, I downloaded half. It probably wasn't even half of the animation. I've got okay, um, yeah. them separate in two different files, so like, I don't know where one goes into the next. Could also do three files, I guess, but sure. No, I downloaded it in two lots, so it's two. Which is going to be annoying for file names. Ozzy well, wasn't paying attention to you and I was confused. I heard fireworks every day in London. Cassus was asking, what were you asking? About whether there's fireworks here on the 5th of November. But in London, they literally would set fireworks off every single day. Like, birthday, fireworks. Yeah. 5th of November, fireworks, Christmas, fireworks, New Year, fireworks, Easter, fireworks, like literally anything. Yeah, I when I was in the Netherlands, they have... Um, fireworks are in gen generally prohibited unless it is the New Year's Eve. And when it's New Year's Eve, they go fucking insane. They mm -hmm. like... It looks like a war zone, like, and I'm not kidding. It's like smoke everywhere. The streets are like closed down an intersection by bonfires was it like, like the end, of, was it like the end yeah. of fight club and transformers yes yeah, exactly like transformers more like the birds <laughs> it looks like it because you want to get locked in your house and there's like explosions everywhere inside it's like smoke uh it doesn't stop until like five in the morning constantly. Is that because they're only allowed to do it's fireworks probably insane. it's like the worst take advantage of yeah them. exactly so all kids Exactly, yeah. So um, basically it's like kids like doing it nonstop. Why are the spacemen's shoes on fire? 
because they're not. <laughs> what is it's it? It's not fire. It's like, uh, you know, wind or whatever. <laughs> it's uh, it only stands out because uh, it needs to stand out compared to a spaceman. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing with this animation. <sighs> I see. In Chile, fireworks are prohibited for civilian use. From oh, yeah? civilian use. Okay. But drug dealers use them sometimes when they receive cargo or they have funerals. And of course, hooligans during football matches. So when you see uh, fireworks in Chile, either someone scored a goal or is uh, transporting drugs. So you just like turn on your TV and if there's another football match there, you're like, okay, it's drugs. Or someone died. Oh my God, what is this? Why would you have fireworks when someone dies? So more people can so join them. <laughs> cool, I'm glad my uh, explanation was like not insane and it worked. Okay, I need to cut the shot my Carson. It's like glaring on my screen. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. This song is for Nathan. He likes my singing. That's why he joins the chat. Okay, okay. Okay, we have a part of Greece where they shoot guns during carnivals in Crete. That's the part of Greece. Uh, but not sure they do it for funerals. Sounds like it would be the cause of a funeral if you were doing that. Okay, so let's try something. I'm gonna try a new animation of the a new animation of the tiny dino attacking a spaceman. So fear is an attack tool. What's tribe all of the funerals or the song? I might have just I changed the music so behind him. Yeah, it's more chill, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Behind her or behind him? It says behind him. Who's him? Hey, Deluxe Tux. Um, hey, hello. I don't know who him is. <laughs> don't know who him is. It sounds like bad English. <laughs> <laughs> um, just realized I did not retweet your tweet. <gasps> oh no.
so that people understand that he's not air guitaring anymore. What? Everyone thinks the spaceman is air guitaring because they haven't drawn the dinos until. Oh, air guitaring. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the music still, I was really confused. How you doing, Deluxe Tux? <clears throat> I kind of skipped some frames ahead, by the way. I don't know what I was doing before. Do you Sorry? Do you need any help? No, I think it's just a matter of piecing the two together and making sure everything's right. I don't know. Maybe at some point, but I'm gonna leave it for now. <laughs> From this POV, it looks like the spaceman is killing the Amazon. I like how you have to say his full name, Mark the Spaceman, which is not his full name, by the way. <laughs> it's Spaceman the Spaceman from Space. Aw, oh, thanks. It's good to hear that you're doing well. Aw, oh, thank you. You're a great company for us. Uh, it's like bullshit. Loop's gonna start making me go loopy. Oh, but... now you realize it's a loop, huh? Yeah, I did. What about the trailer? Is that, uh, that's not gonna loop, is it? No, it's just, you're just gonna. That's gonna get tiring fast. <laughs> Costa, Sar is the only one who has exclusive rights to name characters created by you. Yes, yeah, sure. Such as bleep loop. Bleep boop, not bleep boop. <laughs> Is it bleep loop by this better? <laughs> Bleepity bloop bleep. <laughs> Sarah has exclusive rights to name people that no one's gonna hear their name ever in the game. <laughs> Is the, <laughs> the trailer song how it's got um sound effects in it too? The sound of the oh. space bar just opening is super weird without having any context. <laughs> I want a song that's like the end of the trailer. Well, you know, well, you're not gonna like it though, but you can have um. Arm profits up. That's true. It's a bit too um Yeah, too loud. Uh it's nice it's looping though, so you might get the tired of her a little bit, but it's supposed to loop. Yeah, no, I can tell I'm definitely up for trying it at some point. And then you had some tracks that you use on your old adventure games, but I'm not sure if you want to. I don't I that's I don't <laughs> have the rights for that, it's not my songs. That's true. Like, I mean, uh, it was made for my game. It's songs too, but uh, it's... Uh, yeah, the songs, are, the songs are made for my game that never happened. And um, I think the guy wasn't too happy that it never happened. <laughs> All um, dinos get so named individually in the credits. Yeah, especially this horde of tiny dinos I'm drawing. Oh yeah, they're all gonna have names. Timmy. Like our amazing name so far uh, among ourselves is the Yellow Dino, for example. <laughs> you know, the Yellow Dino, the Big Dino, the Spiky Dino and all that. Okay, let's assume that this drawing stays. Well, that it next. stays? It stays as it is. Like it's not bullshit, but let's see if it works.
Yeah, oh, good luck, so Dory. Rude. It looks like there's a line on my face, but it's my microphone. It's the shadow of the light. Uh. No, it's a burn on your face. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. I was really confused. Like, when did I get a scar? Sounds like this scarred you. Scar. The word scar just reminds me of that super weird wrestling show that was on that boat in Greece. Do you remember the fuck, that? What? No. There's some. Okay, I. We were on a ferry going to Santorini or something. I don't know somewhere. Or Syros. Okay. And um, there was some weird wrestling show on the television, and then one of the wrestlers was called Scar, and just the way he was um, introduced, it sounded. Wait, ridiculous. it wasn't a Greek show though. I don't know. I didn't say it was. I think it, it was, was an in, American show. It was in. I was in Greece when I saw it. All oh, right. I was like right, right, right. maybe American or Australian or something. I, I, oh right, might have been Australian. Yeah. Wasn't it, was it like Australian. something like those uh, American warriors kind of thing? I don't know. I don't know anything. Where they about fight it. with like. You don't know the series American Warriors, where it's like a show they where they, they use like giant pillow weapons or whatever, and the goal is to like drop drop their opponent into like uh, you know drop them below or something. It's uh -huh. like a basically like a toy made structure in a way because it's all pillows, so no one's gonna get hurt, and everyone's like really buff. Weren't there like some ladies who were like flexing yeah, all the time? I think, so. I think it's American Warriors, but we were watching the Australian version of it. <laughs> I don't remember Wait, watching me, it. I just let me, remember. Let me type American Warriors. Uh, oh no, okay, so it's not American Gladiators. That's the one I'm talking about. Wait, mm. American Warriors, something else. Yes, that's it. It's so eighties. That's amazing. Why was he playing that on the um, ferry? Oh yeah, American Gladiators. Look, the most the most eighties thing you've seen in your entire life. Um, but this was probably not the eighties one we were watching. So that makes more sense. So, if you want to check my screen, that's American Jeez. Gladiators. <laughs> Look at the guy's hair, he's like a lion mane. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was a show. They all had like different uh, weapons or whatever. Yeah, like I was watching this as a kid too. Uh, like Deluxe Duck has. It was so fun because they're like, their weapons are ridiculous and they're all like, it's like a W, W, um, F. WWF is the one with the pandas, WWE. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's so much fun. I think we're watching the Australian version and like a reboot of it. But I was going to say, how come you, that's what Scar reminds you and not like Scar from the Lion King. Because it's the way the guy's the name was, like, it was super high-pitched, the way it was, like... Scar! Um, Scar! Like, Scar! Or something. Yeah, I don't know, it's ridiculous. Tennis ball shooting gun. That sounds pretty much like what they would have, yeah, something like that. It sounds like a weapon they would definitely Tennis have. Tennis ball shooting gun. Yeah, I remember the classic one which they were like trying to balance on like some kind of like huge pillow thing and under the, the below them there was like a pet of pillows again and they had like a thing which was uh, like a staff and the edges were like two huge like bulky pillows again so you could use that like to fight the other person and whoever like hit you and, and uh, made you drop uh, would win. That was really fun. Should be on YouTube or something, right? Why do you get the feeling they would have like the best 80s uh, theme for like the show to like start? <laughs> so what the fuck am I drawing? Potentially could work. Also couldn't, but let's see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, Deluxe Dog saying, I remember they were jousting with what resembled a giant Q-tip. That's exactly what I was trying to describe, like a Q-tip with gigantic tips. And they all had names like Storm and Blaze. That sounds about <laughs> right. 
That sounds, yeah, and especially capitalizing it sounds exactly like that. <laughs> I guess that most of the American gladiators who were working before the COVID as security guards in nightclubs. On top of the bars, the main character is the wrestler. Yeah, but yeah, pretty much. Well, before COVID, like 30 years before COVID, 40 more like, because it was in the 80s. I haven't seen The Wrestler yet, I should. It just feels like a really sad film to watch, but I know it's an 80s and good film. American Gladiators has a NES game, what? <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised, but yeah. Uh, it doesn't sound like it would be a good game though. Just to make a game out of a TV show. To... What if we take this dino? Yeah, who wants to watch a sad film these days? I sure don't. Yeah, before uh, you joined the sad deluxe talk, so we're talking about, well, Ozzy brought up a film called Songbird. A trailer just came out, produced by Michael Bay, which is about, what is it about again? Future quarantine, future COVID, future bullshit or something? Future Yeah, by the way, we don't, I don't know if you guys have Halloween in your countries, like I guess Aussie from Sicily or whatever. We don't in Greece, but every Halloween I'm trying to get into the spirit of like watching horror films. But I couldn't manage to get into the spirit this year for some reason. I was like, if I want to watch a horror film, why should I not watch it anytime I want? So I was like, whatever, I'll just watch Korean movies. So my Halloween thing became Korean movies for some reason. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, they have a lot of thrillers that are very bloody, so it kind of is borderline horror, but I didn't even watch these ones. Even deadlier COVID strain. Why didn't they call it like super COVID? COVID-23, that's just lazy, because COVID-19 is like, it was discovered in like, you know, 2019, that's why it's called like that. I guess that's the point. It's yeah, I know, but later. it's like, what if it was two years later and it's like COVID-23? I can imagine the writing room being like that. It was like, wow, it's amazing. <laughs> why would they, why wouldn't it be like a different one? Why would it be a strain of COVID too? Why would it be like three years later too? Why wouldn't it be like a few more? Also, why is it a romantic film? Oh, is it? I think if you're in a lockdown during COVID and you're like single, you're probably going to be like, yeah, sure. I'll be single for a while. It's fine. There should be a vaccine or we're all going to die, so it doesn't matter. Instead of making a romantic film about people who can keep their thing in their pants for, for lockdown. And that's me summarizing a film I've never seen the trailer of. Sarah's is burnt Costas? Uh, hardly, but sure. <laughs> The only way Sarah can burn me is with fire, literally. Oh, wow. Not by joking. Ha, see? She's <laughs> <laughs> laughing at your own joke. So, so amused by this. I don't know what I'm doing today. Oops. Well, would you like me to help you? Because I've done the animation, so I can probably help you. I don't really know what you're going to help me with, though. Well, I don't know what you want help with. Yeah, no. So I can help? But I don't know what I want help with. Okay, that's not a bad, um, annoying dino. Okay, I guess you probably could help me with what's on my screen. What have you drawn here? You want to watch mine for a sec? <laughs> All right. <yeah. laughs> I'm going to do a couple more, but yeah, this one. <laughs> uh, can you share? 
maybe. I don't know that I the... can. I just want to know what's um. Should be for a little while though. What we is can turn it off in a this? Second. Wait, what is this? It's not from the year. It's a strain. You can have as many numbers as you can find them. Yeah, I know, I get it. I'm just saying, if you're doing a sci-fi film, why not go full sci-fi? I don't know. It just seems lazy writing to me that they're trying to capitalize on the comic. Is it sci-fi? Like stupid film. Well, it's dystopian. I guess if it's three years from now, it's not sci-fi exactly, but it is, you know, like Black Mirror is sci-fi. So what am I looking at? Where? What's the round? The, I put a red circle around um, your drawing. Your question is, what the fuck is that? Yeah, what is that? Is that his hand? Yeah, I think it's his hand that comes out of the water. But how is he holding her? Like around her way... head? It's like strangling her, like... Um... Kind of, yeah. I mean, it could be under her arm, but like, you can do whatever you want, because she could be half under the water, she could be covering things with her hair. Yeah, okay. Uh, I would, uh, in your version, I would probably like uh, remove some of the yellow bits he has uh, okay. under her hair and add more orange so that her hair covers his hand and it's fine. Yeah. Okay. I hope that was handy advice. Yeah. Ooh. What the hell was that? <laughs> that is completely unnecessary. <laughs> there we go, that looks like an annoying little dancer. Um, what if we become lazy, take this diner, copy it, make a new layer, paste it, Flip it vertical. Wow, that looks shit. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, wait. Let's start something else. That's very flip weird. it. Uh, flip it 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Okay, that kind of works. Oh, okay, that kind of works. Okay, offset it too, because it looks like it's humping it. I mean, it still is going to look like it's humping it. But... Huh. Not too bad. Those are it's humping it, though. Yeah. They both look like it's humping it now. Whoops, whoops, stop, stop. That was you. But why is this not everything? What's up? I just realized why the music wasn't showing. So I'm trying to add it now, but um, for some reason not everything's showing. Three, four, five, there's been more than that. Fuck. Let's try something else. interesting what's interesting you can have a dyno move with his arm so it looks more like it's being affected by the spaceman 
Bem, bem boa pra você, Zalzinho. Uh-uh. Quite accurately. Uh, why is this dino going crazy? Oh, yeah, let's try this stuff out. Hey. Sorry, can't change the volume properly. There we go. <coughs> My favorite joke from this whole thing was, will I get COVID-19 if I haven't finished COVID-1 to 18 yet? (laughs) 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 Is that like a comment on the trailer on YouTube? Pretty good joke. I'm still binge watching the 19 one. Literally haven't left home. Okay, I understand now. You understand what? I understand why it fucked up. Okay. It's not why the enemies look so choppy and ridiculous. It looks a bit complicated, so I might have to... Ah, as soon as it fixes, actually. I've gone out like four times total in the last eight months. Holy fucking shit. Uh, wh- wh- which country do you live in? I mean, it's probably... Antarctica? What do you mean by go out? Like, literally go outside? Like... I was going to say... It's not going to be a thing. It might not be a vine. It's a... Uh, yeah, wink. It's not a vine. <laughs> it is it is supposed to be pink. In the US? Oh, seriously. Oh, so you're like self-quarantining. It's like not a... Like, do you go out to get food or do you get that delivered? Because that's like, like the only time that I go out once every two weeks. Well, I mean... Shop for food. Okay. Yeah, I, I order uh, my meaty food uh, online and then if i need to go for grocery site yes yeah, since, since the beginning like march i guess but yeah you you guys are from the us which is like completely different from state to state or whatever like we started from the uk and i'm from greece and we both have like government regulations about when to go out or whatever at least now we do oh, okay so someone is going shopping Yeah, so we could have, like, when the first lockdown happened, we could have tried to get food online. But it was difficult to do anyways, because, um... But you live, like, in the middle of nowhere, don't you? Because it was very hard to get slots where you can actually... It got, like, snapped up really quickly. Um... But then when we were potentially able to, we decided not to, because there would be people who are more in need of it than us. So we didn't want to, like, take that away from them. Oh, I see. Yeah, then this is tough. If you live with like a person with high risk, then yeah, I'd like, rather yeah, them have the slot really to be able to get food. But um, we didn't feel yeah, we're still capable of going to the shop. So we do. Yeah. See, like, um, if I was still in London living with my grandmother, I would not be going out because she's she's pretty old. Um, she's like a billion years old. She's 97. That's what I said, right? <laughs> okay. um, yeah, but uh, I mean... That's the worst. I hate people who deny it's like, oh, it's just the flu. Like, I, I, I just, I don't understand it. I really don't. And then all yeah, these, like, conspiracy matter. theories and stuff. It's not a matter, stuff not a matter of what your opinion is, but... Uh... But it must be driving you a little crazy if you've been out four times in eight months, right? I mean, you probably come to terms with it by now, in a way, but it doesn't sound... 
Oh, plus you guys have like elections like tomorrow, don't you? That might be a bit That's stressful tomorrow? on top of everything else. Yeah, because Americans for some reason have it on uh, Tuesday. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that, but I'm not sure if it's still valid, you know, since the first time they decided to have it on Tuesday. I guess a lot of people are uh, doing what they call postal votes. Yeah, they do. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's why they won't get the results tomorrow. They're going to get them like within the whole month. It's going to take a lot longer to count everything. Or to receive. Oh, you're going tomorrow to vote. Yeah, I've, I've been like, so, because, you know, obviously we're on the internet and we're not Americans. I've seen so many go vote things online. That I'm like, I feel like I need to go to vote. And I'm like, wait, I'm not American. Why, <laughs> why am I seeing all these things? Because so? all the media can shoot basically or social media or whatever is like uh, from the USA. But can you can you mail your? I mean, if you're going out, I guess. A very contested area, so nothing is going to stop me from voting. It's one of the states has different election laws, so it's a mess. Yeah, I mean, I, I've heard of that. Yeah, you're uh, you're uh, not gonna you're not gonna win on this technicality, Ozzy. You're a Southern American. You're not voting tomorrow. You did vote last week, though, for a referendum that you didn't tell us what it was about. We could have Google, but what's the point of this stream if we're going to Google stuff? It's like a referendum about who wants us in their country. <laughs> I have a friend who's American, half Greek, half American, and she told me that because of the they were giving like COVID relief or to everyone who's American, and apparently she deserved it too, as like having the nationality, even if she lives in Greece. Oh what? Because so he wanted to get it. Yeah. It's like a thousand dollars. Seven elections upcoming in the next two years. Is this like for a reality show or? What? I don't know who, who Seven votes that many times. Wow. But I mean, I've been reading a lot. I haven't been reading a lot. I've been looking at things online saying that your referendums and voting have been kind of historic in a way because you're one of the first countries that are trying to tackle very dictatorship like governments, if that's true. Awesome. And then Ozzy spoke his opinion and got arrested. The music on the stream is like super 80s. There's like some saxophone in it now. I'm, I'm listening to it. My voice is so bassy on your stream, so I, I'm struggling to hear the music. Is it super quiet? I'm so loud. Jesus. That's because I put you up, Lowe's, because everyone says you're so quiet. Well, I mean, you know, you showed them. So. <laughs> Is Costas too loud now? I'm definitely bassy, but I'm not sure how loud they are. $100 bonus for COVID relief. Oh, is it? Did? Is it, do you have dollars in Chile or something other than dollars? I'm sure. <laughs> What's the temperature like over there? Is it always chilly? I think the sun is okay. Okay, so maybe I'm loud in my own ears. We have presidential in two years. Next year, two. Next year's two regarding the referendum, senators, deputies, elections, and I guess mayor elections as well. Costa's volume is fine. Okay. It's fine. Sorry for the caps. Now we use peso, uh, pretty stable money. Oh, you have 24 degrees. Yeah, I, I was just talking bullshit, but sure. It was I just want to make a fun of it. Fun. 
But you guys have like chili con carne. Technically, it's spring getting to summer now. So, do you think we need another tiny dino on him, like on his foot or on his leg or something? Uh -huh. or fine. Have you done two though? I think three is yes. always a good number. But uh, do you like that I, I put one on his arm, like always being stuck on it? I mean, is that his arm that's moving? Oh, this is going to be so hard to see what's going on in the pixels. Um, Do I you think... want me to color them? I'm going to color them in a different color, okay? I, I think maybe that would help, but Wait. also potentially... No, there's no potential. Separately might be better, but we'll see. No. Wow, okay. <laughs> it can never be done like this. Silly exports some amazing wine. Some amazing whining by Ozzy. The main exporter of whining. Ah, how was that? Burn. Should, should we call like an ambulance or something? Okay, it has been decided, sir. We're gonna get purple dinos on top of your spacemans. I also think it would help for you to start numbering your frames again on the animation. Or when you uh, copy frames, etc. Yeah, it would have been a lot easier on this one. It's like it's gonna take me 90 years though. On this one maybe, but should I do it for everything? A small ones it doesn't really matter. I mean it's taking me ninety years to, to do it myself. Yeah, but that is why I was telling you can we do this together because I'm gonna be so much help to you. But for some reason you don't, don't wanna know. I, I, it doesn't. It doesn't make a difference either way. I need to do it because I need to have the the uh, timing numbers. Eventually, we can do this together. I think with the timing, where you can have we can share a screen. I can tell you exactly what to do. Maybe that's going to save some time. No, I do it as I do it. Like before I do the animation, I need to prep it. There's there's no need for us to do it together. Like it wastes a bit of time. Well, yeah, it doesn't for me, because I have to do this anyway at some point. Do what? Well, give you the frames. Like, I have to look into them, and instead of writing them down, it could be telling you, like, on the spot, instead of, like, taking the time to... Yeah, but that's not helpful at all, because you telling me on the stop button means I then have to write it down. So, like, it's it's too many steps to something... Unless you're doing them... Unless you're doing them live. I, I would never do them live. That, that's doing it on AGS. That's, yes. that's super inefficient. Well, I don't know how you work though with AGS because sometimes like the way I animate, like I make a loop of something and then it sticks and then I draw something while the loop is playing. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like this animation you're doing now, it's composed of some loop. It, it totally depends on how the animation's put together. So in some situations, then that you just have to have the timing that fits with each other. Um, but that's, that's fine. That doesn't really matter you just this needs a separate timing for each animation the sun's on my screen again i was just gonna send you some wine but not me i was like for pasta the grease is not worth it's the only reason i can think of is that better with the dinos uh three of them no, no, there are two, but I mean the color of them. Ah, I, I, I don't know. I think it, yeah, probably, sure. But I should do the Amazon too, maybe, or not. I, I don't know. Oh, her hair isn't uh, doing anything. The color yeah. never really helped before when you did it. Um, I think the thing that would help the most is to have them separate. Because there's a little bit too much information going on there. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna animate for now. Yeah, the way it helps me. It now. Yeah. Greece has good wine still, apparently. Not that I'm a wine expert, but. Really? I don't think I really ever see Greek wines here. Well, definitely chili. I'm 
the purple dinosaurs that Costas is doing right now is just so that the dinosaur stands out separately from me for animating it. The actual because color of the dinosaurs. The actual colors of the dinosaurs are going to be completely different, and it won't. So yeah, that's blend in with, color. It won't blend in with Mark the Spaceman. That's because when, uh, as you can see in uh, the drawing that Sarah's doing now, currently, it downsizes my art, and it's like a bunch of like blurry pixels. So imagine if I have so many lines of things on top of each other. It's if you have blurry much. pixels like that, it's going to be like a complete mess. So I'm hoping that if I have like one color standing out at least, that's just going to say, okay, if these blurry pixels are at least purple, I know that this is a dinosaur. That's the idea at least. Yeah. An idea that we don't know what we're doing. We're just coming up with things that sound practical. And take this into... I don't think this is low or anything. Then he called him Mark, not Mark the Spaceman. Last <gasps> I wasn't even sure what's Mark you were referring to. Which part of the Mark is there? Is it the Spaceman or any other Mark? I should at some point start replying to all these Twitter messages that I completely ignored over the last week. Messages or comments? Comments, sorry. I started making a Charmander handle holder as a Christmas present for someone. Charmander? A Charmander candle holder? You're not gonna uh, understand it, maybe, because it's all super white. I don't know that I can show it properly. Are you showing it on the stream now? Because I'm yeah, catching yeah, up yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the candle whoop, is there. It's like a little tea light, and then that's the actual Charmander, which I need to paint after I've baked it in the oven. Uh. Hold it straight. Okay, well, I mean, it looks like something lizardy, but now that you're saying it. Yeah. Oh, but his look... tail isn't going to light up, though. It's going to be the. No, it's going to be the candle. <laughs> well, it looks like a dead Charmander, then. Oops. Apparently, they die if they don't have a. Oh, really? <laughs> if they, if they're, if they're, yeah, it says if their flame goes out, they die Hold on right. their tail. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure <laughs> he looks dead then. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's part of the Pokédex or something. That's why I remember it for some reason. Yeah, I'm starting to gang a get a little bit um, stressy about Sick Christmas. Oh, no, right. I'm not looping. I told you I changed it to, to something else. To like Synthy type. Just, just stuff. Wavy. Mm -hmm. Do you like them or? Yeah, I like this one. It's like. Um instrumental enough that it doesn't bother me. Not that it would bother me, it's just not always the kind of thing I listen to on stream. Yeah. On stream? Whilst I'm working. This is really quiet. Why is it so quiet? So you're, yeah, you're stressed about Christmas because you need to buy your presents? Uh, no, because I'm making most of my presents. Uh, wow, your Christmas shopping is done. I did mine early last year. Um. I'm planning it. I like to do it early so I don't have to worry about it. Because then it gets like, especially now when like, last lockdown, it was difficult to get stuff online. So I don't know if the same, maybe they're used to it now and there's not going to be a problem. But yeah. Um, I'm making a lot of my presents, so I need to get started. I've already started some, but um, yeah. Yeah, I... I <laughs> When I can't think of anything to get, my parents are like, my grandmother, I just go for food related stuff. That always works. Chocolate. 
that sort of thing. I try not to bother with presents and uh, I don't expect people to get me in return because it's so stressful, I don't want to get into it. I did, but I did make an effort. <sighs> not, the year, not last year, the year before that. Oh, really? That was really frustrating, yeah, because... Uh, I mean, it was frustrating because I need to put a lot of thought into it before I do it. And then I actually need to either physically do it or, or, they're, or they're early enough. Not to mention that a billion... Uh, it's gonna cost a billion monies for me. <laughs> that I don't really have. Like, as much as I want to give people gifts, I'd rather have food. That's why I make my presents. So... Yeah, I know you do. That's kind of a nice thing to do. I mean, it's not fully. Yeah, I kind of also feel like you're kind of forcing <laughs> someone to have something that you've made that they might not really like, and they can't get rid of it because it's sort of like you made it. I know, isn't it the same though with gifts? Like, I think it's better if you actually make it because how bad it's gonna be. Yeah. I've had the same problem like when someone got me like for my birthday like a hat or a shirt, and I'm like this hat doesn't fit my head or it's like so weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah, totally. And then I, I sometimes want to throw it away, and then I'm like, uh, but they gave it to me as a gift, but then I'm like, no one's going to find out. <laughs> yeah, if it's something I'm never going to use, or like, uh, yeah, I tend to pass it on to someone else who I know will, which I kind of feel bad about, but I kind of also don't, because it's better than it just sitting around not doing anything. I don't know. It's the thought that counts. Yeah, that's why I get stressed when I pick a gift, because I want to make sure that they like it, or that I pick the right one. Yeah. According to this person's, like, you know, Stuff. Deluxe Tux says in previous years I made elaborate scavenger hunts for my little sister. Haha, <laughs> I did that for my partner's brother's birthday, like not long ago. That was fun. Oh, is that good, Dozy? That's exactly how the curfews are uh, happening right now in Greece from midnight <laughs> until five. It hasn't been almost a full year, by the way. Unless you had curfews for other reasons. For COVID, no. Unless you live, no, actually, wherever you live. It's been like eight months or something. Well, I mean, the first report was in uh, 31st of December about COVID. So, in the news. Wait, when? What? The 31st of December, there was All like right. the first report so of like, there's something called COVID that's going on, something like that. For here, the first time I feel like the, the government here took any notice of it was like... Be, be it like when the lockdown started, whatever that was. End of March or something, wasn't it? Beginning of April? Yeah, end of March was our lockdown. Oh, I mean, yeah. So I don't really count any time before that for, for the UK at least. Wait, you had curfews uh, October? Yeah, for how long though, from October? And then, I'm pretty sure you didn't have them. Social reports. I'm pretty sure that your lockdown wasn't in January or something. It must have started at least like in March or later. The best one was a bag full of dollar stored junk, but I had <laughs> hidden Steam keys or various games all through it. I put it on the deck somewhere under the... Man, that's a, that's a tricky gift because if people don't uh, take notice, then you might just like waste your gift and money by accident and say, what is this junk? I'll throw it away. Ah, you make like, sure no! they find them. The last, yeah, the last clue for the, the scavenger hunt thing I did was, um, yeah, but ours was just like the clues were the fun part and then there was a present at the end. It was a Sudoku puzzle, because he really likes Sudoku. And I like drew a square around three of the numbers, which then were the, was the combination for a padlock, which then opened up and a present, his present was inside there. Yeah, it was pretty fun to set up. Did you playtest this? <laughs> to play test it. I just no, I just hoped it worked. Yeah, but imagine like if you don't play this, it's like no, they didn't solve it, and then they never get the game. Oh no, they would. Like there were some no, clues he didn't I'm really like, like, get. But as a game designer, you should playtest yeah, it. Yeah. You know that. But... <laughs> um, where's the bird? Bird is the word. I'm gonna bird, bird, bird. Why does not work the way I want it to? Adventure game present. Yeah. What what is an adventure game present like? 
you have to make it yourself or like you have to yeah, solve make a, a make, make a real life you have to um, insult, insult or to fight the other person is the bird smaller than did you make him smaller because he's a bit further it the is distance. it is a little smaller it's a lot and smaller. also the loop yeah it's in the distance and the loop animation is different but some of the frames are actually the same sorry so this loop, frame is the same what loop animation is different when it's eating Oh, it's completely different because it's a different size. It's different. It's different. Yeah. First, it's different size, and secondly, I couldn't make it work with the way it has its feet on the ground, and also I couldn't yeah. make it work because but... it needed to turn its butt so its tail would be closer to the. But it's a different size, so I have to redraw. Sure. I have to redraw it anyways, so it doesn't really make yeah, difference. Yeah. If you scale it down, then what? No. <laughs> I have to redraw it. It's scaling down. Look. All right, like Nathan is talking about you making an adventure game puzzle in real life for uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why it was like pretty fun to do. I kind of wanted to go a bit more more out with it, like a escape room type thing, but you probably wouldn't have been able to solve everything, so I had to keep it kind of simple. But like the lock thing was like this one escape room that I went to in London. It was so bad. It was called. Well, let's not mention it. I mean, it's not a thing anymore. But um, they've literally just had like numbers hidden around a room, and there was just loads of locks to unlock. That's all it was. There was like no story to it or anything. It, it wasn't great. That's something I miss. I haven't done for a while and can't do it. But um, escape rooms are really fun. Yeah, I'm not a big fan, but they haven't had a great experience or whatever. There's some really nice ones in London. Or oh, where? I don't know if it's still a thing. Like the London Tower, which is an escape room on its own. What? The actual tower with the prison. You're talking about it. the Tower of London? Yes, that one. Um, three dinos? Good? Yeah, I think that looks good. Yeah, it looks like he's getting assaulted. Yeah, I've been to a fair few. I quite like to go to some in Bristol. I haven't been to any in Bristol. I mean, Athens has a billion of them. Escape rooms. They're fun. There's like a really cool Harry Potter one in London that was nice. And there's like an amazing... I don't remember the name of it. The amazing escape. one. There's the one that you'd really like that one, because it's in, in London. Like the, the dressing, the set dressing of it is like amazing. And there's like a futuristic part as well, and like... Just the, How come I would like good. it? Because it's futuristic? The way it looks, it just looks really good. Oh. And the puzzles were good too. What I suspect I will not like is mm -hmm. those escape rooms that have uh, actors in them. I haven't... My sister has been to a few, and I feel like, especially That's if they're really... scary and you have actors around, that, uh, that pisses me off because I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to have my personal spaces even if it's like <laughs> for, for fun yeah. I don't find this fun I, I don't I've... find fun being in an enclosed space anyway with stressful situations that are not really stressful but they're enclosed spaces and someone like scaring me with an actor especially if they try to touch me I've never yeah just cause ends up punching them I've never done one with an actor before I kind of I have. Might. there was like one where it was like a murder mystery type thing maybe Kind of. It was like a room that we went into and it was like an old lady's house. Um, and we were looking for clues and stuff and then it some clue sent us out into like the, uh, a hallway. It was like an outside stairwell type thing. And... Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so it sent us out into another room and that door that we went through ended up locked. So we were locked outside or we weren't allowed to go back in or something. And then when we went back in, there was a human... <laughs> Lying there dead on the ground. Dead. He wasn't dead, but like it was a real person lying there and I had to get some amulet from around his or her neck. I can't remember. And I like took it from them and I was like, sorry, because I had to kind of like take it and I knew he was alive. It was just, you know, weird. But yeah, that's the only right. time. He wasn't really interacting. He was just there. Because it would have been better than a mannequin, I guess. He's really playing dead. Um, yeah, my sister, I think, told me about when I was telling him that thing about actors that when they were talking after that to some of the actors, they actually, some of them got punched or whatever by people <laughs> like, re reflex, re uh, reacting like... Uh... Not surprised. Yeah, I mean... 
I think they, I think uh, Nathan would like that because apparently they described it kind of like a mixture between uh, Outlast and like Silent Hill. So it was like a hospital or some asylum or something. Yeah. But I would not like to be in there with like actors. <laughs> like, fuck off, man. Don't like, go next to me. I mean, that's kind of like um, secret cinema. Where it's not like an escape room, but it's immersive. It, it, and, I like um, that though, because that was, you take I your went, time to go around. I went, yeah, no, but it was. Um, 25 days later? 20 something? Something Eight. about days? 28 days later? Is that it? Is that zombies? Yes. Yeah, it was that. And we were chased by zombies like down the corridor with like the flashing lights and everything and it was super cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, well, I don't like Sarah. Cinema, though. Yeah, Sarah, are you pro monarchy? In the oh, I don't. I don't. I just don't. don't. Who Nothing. is pro monarchy uh, who's like not in the, <laughs> in the Middle Ages? <laughs> I'm just like I, I politics and all that. I no, I don't. I, yeah, it's politics, it's like silliness. Politics the or the monarchy. I don't don't have an opinion really. I went to a Halloween thing like that. It was a bunch of different mazes with actors and stuff. Like a <laughs> Halloween party. Sounds cool. Uh. I need to make a new animation, right? With the spaceman opening stuff. Yes. But yeah, Secret Cinema yeah. was cool when they were still inviting me to events even though I wasn't working there anymore. And I'd still get invited to go to like the, the test runs. But yeah, that didn't last for long. Instead of paying like hundreds of pounds or something to go. Mm, temporary theme park thing. Well, there's not gonna be any Christmas markets uh, this year. It's, we don't have in Greece, but I really enjoy in Europe. It's like Germany or and stuff. Old wine. Yeah, old wine. First. Shit like that. So, yeah, Secret Cinema is really cool. I think. Um, What's his name? Um, one of the developers uh, for Rocky, he posted some pictures and he went to a secret cinema that was Back to the Future themed, I think. That looked pretty cool. Yeah. I, <laughs> we I all just... had to like, dress up as like 80s. I love the fact that I, I worked on the Prometheus one and got oh, to see some did, of huh? the... Yeah, I got to see some of the vehicles that were in the film. Oh, wow. And because um, they brought the actual vehicles and they had some of the set there as well. Like, I don't, I don't know remember if was... any of your photos there. Sorry? I don't remember any of your photos from that. I don't think I took any photos really. Oh, that's why. Yeah. But yeah, I worked on that one. That one was pretty fun. That was potentially the last one, which I don't remember. Of yours. Of me that I worked on, yeah. Jesus, which one is my file now? Uh, are there two spaceboat animations? Who knows? What do you mean, two that you need to do? I'm trying to find the... The background of the... Um, Spacebot, so that they can draw the animation on top of it. I was drawing it last time on stream, the one with the lights. Are you doing that on stream? Yes. For that. With you in the same stream. I mean, I'd be surprised if you streamed without me. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the Spacebot uh, skits. Uh, I'm trying to go to the interior now. Yeah, it's cool seeing the old one yeah. against the new one. Oh, yeah, but those who were talking about the new one, because I don't think he even saw that. Yeah, yeah, I know. The old, just, the old so... one, because it sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck, suck it's just. It's compared to the new one. It's cooler <laughs> to make it look cooler. It's a wasted opportunity <laughs> to make it look boring like that. That's all. It's not. Oh, I can't find the new one, but look, yeah, look at my process, like when starting to, to draw the new one. So this is the first one. It's the first try, and I did this bit sideways then I did it like that so the door would be here then uh, there's a bolt in your set yeah, no. then I did this and then I made it scruffier because it looked a bit too 
Green. Um, and... Passes, do you mind yeah, burning them? So I like can't it. seem to. Yeah. Wait, I'll... You know, you've also got the, the ability. <laughs> oh, you ban them, okay. Yeah, but I've never used it, but okay. That just happened. Apparently, that's not the file. Oh, okay, that's it. Made the unit. This is the interior from last time. Okay. I guess I could do it here. There's more than one mark. Uh, no. <laughs> don't know how you implied that. How that was implied in any way. Was there more than one mark in your sketches, or is it just this different more than one space pad? No, I'm pretty sure I didn't have any marks. I had the different space tips. Probably once he heard me say, "Let me show you the other versions," and he thought it was the <laughs> space pad. Knows what goes on. Knows his head. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. Um... See, I have a version where his back is turned, what his arms are. Apparently, just right. you had two versions of him on the, the on your screen. All oh, right, yeah. So it was literally two of them on the screen. That's what you were saying. Uh, my files here, chapter. The chapter three folder somewhere. Three. Internet dropping frames. If a frame's got another, do you drop it like it's so hot? Yay. There we go. There's another mark for you. <laughs> what is that from? Did you just make that? Why does he have crab crab claws? Because he is from chapter three. Uh, where he's holding Okay, yeah. Wink wink wank.
So when's your lockdown uh, beginning? For me? Today? Uh, I don't know. Uh, by yours, you mean the UK? <laughs> uh, yes. Thursday, I think? Oh, really? That late? Doesn't mean anything. Uh, yeah. Well, to you, but For me. Yeah, but you said my lockdown. <laughs> What's your lockdown? You're the British one. Mine started at the end of March. So we were actually considering going to stay with um, Laurie's aunt at the end of November. Since she's come to stay here a few times and she's quite careful, but I mean... But... That can't happen now, but I'm okay with that. Unless we go at the beginning of December and see how things are. Well, how far away is it? How far? It's a... An hour's drive? Maybe? Aren't you in the middle of nowhere anyway? An hour and a half? What do you mean? As in like, is it the middle of nowhere or is it the city? It's South Cornwall. Oh. She doesn't, yeah, they're close. But we wouldn't go anywhere other than her house. She is the president of the Americas. Uh, cool. Yes. <laughs> Ozzy is the Mr. Bean of Chile. Ozzy, what's for dinner tonight? I won't ask you, Costas, because the answer is chicken and lentils. Yeah, now it's uh, half the portion of chicken that I used to eat. You didn't ask me on Saturday, though. Because you weren't on stream. No, but that's when my food gets interesting. Okay, what did you have on Saturday? I had wow. two donuts. Oh, jeez. Two? Um, what the heck? One donut makes me feel ill. One was a cronut. One was a donut. I had some kind of weird uh, pastry that had minced meat. Um, I then I had brunch, which was uh, bacon pancakes with cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. And then in the evening I had uh, kebabs, along other things in the tavern. Mm -hmm. But I also biked from like here to my parents' place, which is approximately 40 minute biking in uh, oh, okay, cool. the, the street zone. Actually, by a bit, I biked a bit more, but anyway, yeah, I bike a lot. <laughs> but now that I have a goal to reach, um, I'm going to have to do the two days in 10 days instead of every seven days. I'm weak to donuts. I don't like donuts. They're way too sweet for me. I love donuts. Yeah, donuts are our life. Costas is his Manuel what? in his faulty tie at Tower's life. I hear Manuel. I, I Manuel. definitely speak better English than you. <laughs> See. Um, but. Yeah, I try. I love donuts so much. I try to like uh, use them as uh... what's the word I'm looking Rewards. for? Rewards. I don't know. No, like I'm I'm trying to basically like uh, hold on a diet for the sole purpose that I can have donuts in my cities. So I use them as my advantage. My love for donuts. I dream of them. They keep me in line. And then I eat them, I, and then when I have a tea day, I can eat them guilt-free, so. Because usually when you 
you know, eat donut, you always have a little sense of guilt right after. But for me, that doesn't exist. If I if I am uh, legit on the rest of the days. Ozzy, you didn't answer me. What are you having for dinner? What's everyone else having for dinner? I love food. He's having some weird things that are like he's gonna type like Italian food that he's gonna be explaining in like forty paragraphs. Oh shoot! I see what I'm doing. Stupid. That's bad. I'm like editing the same bird that I've linked on frames, but the uh, what do you call it? The um. I don't know what it's called. The rope thing changes like within that. Yeah. I didn't think that through. Yeah, I, the, the, the rope thing is weird. It has a life of its own in a way. It reacts to everything. That's fine. It's just that I was editing. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. I was just doing the wrong thing. It's fine now. What's guilt in general? Does it work? <laughs> why do I feel guilt? Or what's guilt related to donuts? He doesn't feel guilt. Well, guilt is what you feel when you eat donuts for three months without guilt. I don't know then that I've really... ever felt guilty about. <laughs> I don't know that I felt guilty about eating. Food. You don't eat donuts. Why would you feel guilty? I eat other things. But I when guess I was I in the UK, in it was the fattest I've ever been in my life because I, I love eating everything. Caesar salad and mix it with soy sauce. You and peanuts. love peanuts. <laughs> you, you always, yeah, you always have peanuts. So. I'm having peanuts on mine. I'm having. What am I having? Peanuts. Let me find it. Sounds like you're just eating uh, vegetables now. Maybe a tomato, maybe olive oil, maybe salt. Also, we're talking about cool things like donuts. You're just talking about olive oil and tomatoes. <laughs> we're not telling you what you're going to combine your uh, main dish with. Don't like this drawing at all. Could do better. Yeah, if I could do that, I, I probably would if I could get away with it. That's what I'm making for dinner spicy peanut tofu bowls with pickled vegetables. Spicy, spicy peanut. Well, it's not going to be spicy. Bowls, tofu. It's basically, oh, tofu. it's going to be Japanese rice with um, teriyaki. I think it's ter Oh, I might not have any more of that sauce left. I have to make something else up. It's meant to be teriyaki, tofu, and onions with like pickled cucumber, red onions on top. And red onions on top. Interesting. Maybe some daikon. So should I say, yeah, I, oh, sorry, go on. No, the luck sucks. This is a snack the other day. I made a small bowl of rice with peanuts and black pepper. It wasn't bad. Uh, I do like rice. I like Japanese rice. It's really, um, like sushi rice, I guess, pretty much. It's just nice and Sounds and pretty soft. healthy. No, <laughs> it's white rice. And other than that, I normally have like brown basmati rice. Oh, so he says only... yesterday I had an asado and a pizza. What's an asado? See, I told you he's gonna mention weird food that we don't know. <laughs> what were you saying, Costas? Uh, to tell Sad about my bet uh, that I was telling you before stream. Oh, sure. That means some friends of mine have. So, yeah, some of my friends, they were having a bet between each other because they wanted to lose some weight. It's like five of us. They were like, uh, depending on your body mass index or whatever, like how big you are. Uh, each of us by December 24th, we have like a goal of certain like kilograms to lose. And everyone like bets a uh, hundred euros in like a, in like a pool. 
So whoever reaches their goal, uh, they get to basically, uh, they get rewarded the money of the other people who fail, if that makes sense. So, and if you lose, you lose a hundred euros because you, and you also lose your target. Uh, so my goal is four kilograms in two months. Good thing is like, you don't really care what the others are doing as long as you reach your goal. It's a pretty ambitious goal, but it can be done. So, and I started it today, which means I'm going to go hungry for a little bit. And I wanted to just make sure that everything you mentioned about donuts or rice or anything else just makes me hungry this time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sent me a band of talking about talking about food. Like how Sarah ignores my story and just like continues chatting on text. Uh, so yeah, you can. I don't want to interrupt you. You don't, but you you're secretly me. doing it anyway. You told me about it already. <laughs> well, and you have your own chat, like where you text people and talk to them, and then I tell them about my talents. Oh, sesame oil. Rice that has been grained previously. What is pre pre? Pre-grained rice. Starting to speak bullshit. How can I make it look better? But what does grains mean? I thought like grain was like literally a grain of rice. Parboiled rice. <laughs> Interrupting your made up food names. Yeah, I also love spicy stuff, by the way. Put all of your salad in a mixer and use them as sauce for pastas. I don't know how that sounds, but you probably put a lot of peanuts in it, so maybe you make pesto while you're like salad? that. Salad? Like what kind of salad? Do you mean like spinach? Lettuce would be super weird like that. Yeah, salad is a very broad term, by the way. <laughs> but this is classic Aussie who just like mentions something that's in his head perfectly clear, but it doesn't escape his uh, head <laughs> to explain everything else. I did that with like some leftover kale some months ago and I... Oh, it I, sounds like kale. I put it up, I mixed it up in the uh, food processor along with some walnuts. So it was like making my own, um, what do you call it? Pesto, yeah. And then it was pretty nice. Soya sauce is uh, really good with uh, balsamic. No, what the fuck am I talking about? I Balsamic sauce is really good, I was gonna say. <laughs> Soy sauce is really good with balsamic. Soya sauce, I never put it in salads. I only put it in rice. Yeah, so soy sauce is pretty salty. I don't use salt. Yeah. But I use I don't think it's for huge portions, uh, but it makes rice so tasty. Any type of salad. Okay, so what? Like like lettuce? There's not too Yeah, many like watery. there's not any type of salads. There's every type of salad. This is like there's mm -hmm. lettuce, there's carrots, there's a billion vegetables carrots? literally. Carrots isn't salad. That's a vegetable. Well, make, it's a component of salad, like... Oh, no, it... Well, a salad is a, is a combination of vegetables. 
Mm, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. It can be literally anything, can't it? A salad is a dish. It's not really... Oh, apparently it's yeah. a vegetable suitable for eating raw. Well, who knows? Well, I can tell you who doesn't know. <laughs> Mr. Salad Fingers. Mr. Salad Fingers. Sir, so, can we talk shit about something in animation? You wanna... what? Can we talk shit about something in animation I wanna talk shit about? Okay, what? Uh, rotoscoping. Okay. I never like it. Why do people do it? It's never good. I guess when you're not great at drawing and... <laughs> no, but your explanation is basically like what I'm saying. It's like... You Six can do it if you're nine. not good. Like, is there anything I can think of? Never, it, it's it's never it looks a bit. nice. Never, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I'm breaking up inside. <laughs> Before I lose my mind, save me from the nothing I've become. Did you just change the lyrics of the song to make it work for you? <laughs> Really? I thought that was it, but... Oh no, Ozzy can post things. This is not a bot. <laughs> Cooking for engineers. Cooking for weirdness. What is the dirty rice? <laughs> the first thing I see is tzatziki. <laughs> is it really? I have dirty rice, simple tiramisu. Some oh, I have... A, why does it like the algorithm find what we want? It says Angelica's tzatziki. <laughs> No, it doesn't, because it's showing me meat. <laughs> Wait. Oh, right. Let me send you a Gilgas Zaziki for some reason. What is it like, random people having the... Thanks, Ozzy. Now it's through our whole stream uh, away. We were, like, perfectly happy talking shit about rotoscoping, and now I'm looking at Zaziki. Uh, okay, I would disagree with you, because even that, I don't like rotoscoping. I think, I think animation should be... Um... I think animation is an art form that you should exploit. And if you do rotoscoping, it means like you're doing it like really watered down. It always looks like underwhelming to me. Like from even He-Man, which is like they did a lot of rotoscoping there. It just looks stiff to me. I think the word stiff is what it looks to me. Like animation, yeah, like has, like animation has all these principles, like exaggeration, squats and strats, uh, secondary movement, and rotoscoping is like nothing out of these. It's just like frame by frame only. I yeah, maybe it's a. It maybe is also it's a, a style in itself. I, I I if you give me any animation compared to like hand frame by frame animation like with exaggeration compared to rotoscoping, I always pick like the frame by frame exaggerated animation. That's a pref personal preference, but I don't I never like anything I see that's rotoscope. Like one not one thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it bothers me as much as it bothers you, but I don't think I've seen that much rotoscope stuff. We, when we had a Kickstarter, I had a guy who contacted us, who was like a martial artist slash uh, stuntman. And he was basically, he was selling his services for like... He wanted to make a game, but like in pixel art, where he wanted to have like all the fight scenes and you would rotoscope him. But yeah. yeah, I mean, first of all, we couldn't do this because even if it sounded like an interesting project, because we're doing therapods, and second of all, like, why would I want to rotoscope someone? Oh, did he want you to do all this? He wanted, yeah, he basically wanted to like kind of like work together or sell his services in a way. 
Because you know how it makes sense if you do motion capture for like God of War or something. Uh, or like Assassin's Creed. Mm. But it doesn't make sense for 2D. I can just like come up with my own thing and like exaggerate it. Yeah. Yeah, Fleischer is cool, but... Or Maybridge or whatever. I don't know. It just feels like you can do so much more with like traditional animation. You can like literally do anything you want. You can just like exaggeration is like a thing that must be in animation. Otherwise, there's no point in animation, at least for me. Like it just offends you. It really, yeah, it really bothers me. Like I don't understand how people are like, oh, rotoscoping. I'll try that. Like no, it like try something else. It doesn't look good. And this is cost of his rents. Like, I like Francisco's games, but I feel like they would be way better if it was traditionally animated. But thankfully, I'm not the only audience, so... <laughs> Without extreme opinions about animation. It's pretty extreme. My drawings look like shit too. Like I'm not talking about the quality of drawings. I'm talking about the quality of animation. Like I fully realize I'm not a good, not good at drawing. <laughs> really struggling with this bullshit. What's the problem? It looks like he's having a curtain on him, and then like the longest arm in the world. <laughs> Is that because you have to struggle to get him to get higher than he probably would be able to? Yeah, kind of. Like, I'm not sure, like, because, like, you can see his silhouette because he has a big cape. Um, you don't see his feet. Looks like a block. And everyone in Subtle Labs rotoscoping, so I'm not sure what to do about this. <laughs> oh, I know. Maybe I can, you know, wear a curtain, uh, put my phone on my desk, and then film myself doing this. And then it's I rotoscope it, and then it's gonna look like shit, which I'm doing anyway, right now. It's not it's a pen beat. It looks like shit now. Offending people, I was just like, I'm talking shit about rotoscoping. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> it just felt like a tedious process to do something simpler. I mean, I wouldn't be capable of just doing an animation straight up like you do. No, I, I fully understand your reasoning, like, you would do it because it's easier to do. Uh, but... But that's the only reason why, like, because it's convenient. It's not like the the end result doesn't matter in this process. It just matters that you get it done, right? Uh, I'm talking about, like, the aesthetic... Uh, yeah, the aesthetic, aesthetically, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Aesthetically, I never like it. I understand why they would do it. Like, I personally, would aesthetically, it. wouldn't choose rotoscope as a choice. I, I never would. Yeah. Like, but I I, 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 I do, unless someone finds a way to convince me by doing something amazingly rotoscope. I do understand it. And maybe I don't there's think something, I don't know, like, Japanese think... anime or something. Whoa. It's like you lagged or something and suddenly it, like, sped you up and you're talking, like, super, super fast speed. <laughs> the, the rent meter in, uh... Yeah, Ozzy says, give the old man his pill. I'm guessing he's referring to you. Ozzy knows nothing about anything. Ozzy the boy. Ozzy, Ozzy looks like a classic rotoscoping fan. You offended him. <laughs> he offends himself. Sorry. No, no, I meant Ozzy's offended you. Oh, right. Uh. Um. I feel like today's been slow. Maybe. Okay, 
let's start over because this looks like bullshit. Um. I bet we could all avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. <laughs> Who got this crazy reference? I'm surprised I did. Why are you surprised I did? You never get references of anything I say. Yeah, but that's Monkey Island. Yes. And uh, door hands? Yeah, I wouldn't. Is that the the reply? The, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know those. <laughs> I don't, you're the one that crazy the like, them. No, no. Guess the song is over then. Guess who? Okay, back to work. And he's like, "Z, I feel a little guilty now." It's only monkey in my pocket that I remember. It wasn't that part of no. It wasn't another song. Was part of the adventure uh, adventure X uh, quiz. Yeah. Plunder, plunder, how I wonder. That's the song I I answer to. Ignoring Ozzy and uh, <laughs> his barbarian uh, spelling. Is he making fun of you? He's yeah. trying to. Yeah. He's playing himself. He can go rotoscope himself for all I care. That looks a bit better. Surprisingly enough, I'm not hungry yet. Oh, that's good. I am. Yeah, but uh, this is the first day I cut down my uh, portions. I know. Although I didn't cut down my portions yesterday. So maybe that's the reason why. So I was still well fed from yesterday. Have you ever done uh, fasting? Uh, like I not eat for a day. Um, oh, what's it called? What's the different kind of fastings that you can get? In intermittent fasting. Intermittent. intermittent. I did intermittent fasting. 
Yeah, I'm talking about the uh, fighting fasting as well. Like, yeah, we I think we. Talk